Anne Hathaway is back with a new movie, but guys, how good is it? Stick around for my full review. G'day viewers, Retro Man here and welcome to the show. Now last night I decided to kick back and stream a movie. So I went across to Amazon Prime and I was there just checking out their catalogue and I couldn't really choose a movie straight up. So I decided to go across to see what is trending. Now I discovered a film here guys that is trending number one in Australia. So I clicked it and it is called The Eye idea of you. It's a romance film and it stars Anne Hathaway. So I went, okay, Anne Hathaway, I've been on a journey with her for the last 20 years. I've seen a lot of her films. So I felt, okay, it's number one in Australia. Let's check it out. So guys, I kicked back for almost two hours and watched Anne in this new romance film. And she is partnered with an English actor called Nicholas Galatzine. Now in this movie, Movie, Anne Hathaway plays a 40 year old single mum who has an unexpected romance with a 24 year old frontman for a popular boy band called August Moon. Now this is one of those romance films that takes a look at age difference and it is very interesting to see an actress like Anne Hathaway playing somebody her age. I mean, in this film, she is looking a little bit more mature. She's actually about 42 years old in real life, playing a 40 year old. And uh, guys, she equips herself very well. Remember, Anne is actually an Oscar winning actress and this role kind of fits her groove. I think Anne has a lot of chemistry with her co-star Nicholas and the two play off each other very well. Now this movie of course isn't a groundbreaking romance film but it's just a nice pleasant entertaining film to absorb if you're looking for a little romance. Now guys they kind of categorise this film as a romantic comedy but what I would say it's more of a romantic drama set to a musical backdrop. You have that boy band subplot in there and there are some sweet songs on the soundtrack. One that particularly stood out was a track called Dance Before We Walk. I'm sure you'll be humming along to that one. That caught me by surprise guys and I found that that song was very poppy and I found out that Nicholas Galatzine actually does his very own vocals. So we must give him props for that. Now guys, this is a romance, so we expect fireworks. We expect some chemistry between the leads. And I must say that I was impressed. Anne Hathaway and Nicholas come together very well. I mean, it's one of these scenarios that you have to suspend belief a little bit. I mean, Hathaway kind of has a chance meeting with this guy when she is forced to take her daughter to uh, a music festival called Coachella. And Anne is actually needing to go to the toilet and she winds up in Nicholas's trailer and uh, guys she goes to the toilet in there and they kind of meet. So the film is set up remarkably well and we kind of go on this journey with the two of them and uh, it's a little bit of a reluctant relationship on Anne's behalf because she's a single mum, she's had some upset in her life and she's kind of trying to find her feet after a broken marriage and she's a little bit skeptical of finding love in the arms of somebody that is so much younger and in the public eye. So this presents a very interesting scenario for the viewer. I think this film will kind of work best if you're between the age of say 20 and 40. I think this film will hit the sweet spot and entertain. If you're over 40 and you're not a fan of Anne Hathaway, I mean this is a fairly stock standard romance but it is is executed well. Kudos to Hathaway and Galatzine. They do get the sparks right and they play off each other very well. So I think the viewer can get absorbed by this romance and commit to the journey. So guys, it's an entertaining little film. And as I understand it, it is actually based on an acclaimed novel. So guys, I knew nothing about this film going in. I just kind of cottoned onto it because it was trending on 
Amazon Prime. But Anne Hathaway is an appealing actress. I've watched her work for over 20 years. I mean, I remember the first time I saw her in The Princess Diaries, and I felt she had such a likeable, wholesome presence on screen that I just started watching a lot of her work post then. And she kind of became, over time, a very versatile actress. She even did that Get Smart film years ago with Steve Carell. And of course, she won that Oscar for Les Mis. So guys, I haven't kind of seen much of Anne since 2015 when she did that comedy with Robert De Niro called The Intern. So it was rather refreshing to catch up with her almost nine years down the track since The Intern. And I must say she is looking a little bit older, but she puts in a fairly compelling performance in here. There's a lot of emotion, there's some light comedy. I would have liked some bigger laughs, but you know, this really is a romantic drama and she equips herself very well. So all in all guys, if you're looking for a little romance, the idea of you will tick that box. So definitely check it out if you're a fan of romance films. And while you're at it, guys, tell me in the comments below what you think of Anne Hathaway. Tell me what you think of the English actor, Nicholas Galatzine, guys. I think that uh, he was well suited to this role and that he does some of his own singing. That's just the cherry on top. So a very good performance from him as well. And I think that the two actors will be very satisfied with what they've delivered here. So guys, the idea of you is lightweight and enjoyable. Tell me if you've seen the film. Tell me what you think of it. And uh, if you'd like to see me review more of these movies that are popping up on streaming services, please let me know in the comments below and I will return with another review very soon. But as always, guys, please like, comment and subscribe and keep watching Retro Man Down Under because you will never know what is going to pop up next. Until next time, this is Retro Man, living the dream, retro style. Stay gold. Thanks for watching. Retro Man will return faster than a boomerang. But in the meantime, please check out these other episodes.